Welcome to XAR template tutorial lesson number 100 for the XAR Web Designer MX Premium version 8 software. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about the Snap to Objects feature, and it's also referred to as the Magnetic Snapping Tool. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you want to do is go ahead and go to your toolbar and go ahead and grab a quick shape. You can pick any quick shape that you want. In this case, I'm going to select the rectangle and I'm going to go ahead and draw a rectangle in my workspace. And before you do anything else, once you draw that rectangle, go ahead and make sure that you have the snap to objects feature enabled. And you can check that at the top part of your screen. If it's not enabled, go ahead and left click it to enable it. And once you enable that, if you left click and drag your rectangle towards the center point of your screen, you'll see that it has this small little red dot in the center of the rectangle. And this is considered a potential snapping point. And in this case, this snapping point is saying that the center point of this rectangle is in perfect alignment with the center point of the page in, in respect to the horizontal positioning. So that's what that's saying. And if you look at the next snapping point, if you look down below the rectangle, that, that snapping point is saying it's a potential snapping point at the very center of the page. And if you bring your rectangle down towards that potential snapping point, you'll see that we get two lines. You get a vertical line and a horizontal line. And what that's saying is that the center point of this rectangle or its origin point is in perfect alignment from left to right and from top to bottom in respect to the web page space or our workspace. So the center point of this is perfectly aligned with the center point of this page. And the next thing that I want to show you is that if you move your rectangle towards the side of the pages, it will also snap to the sides of the workspace page. If you drag it towards the top or to the side, you'll get two potential snapping points and it's just saying that those two corners will be perfectly aligned with the edges of the pages. So hopefully you can see those snapping points. And also, you just saw another snapping point there. i try to bring it back on my screen here you'll see that the bottom edge of this rectangle was in perfect alignment with the center point of this page and you'll see that there's a snapping point in the center of the page and then the line goes all the way to the left edge of the page but right now the bottom edge of this rectangle is perfectly aligned with the center point of this page from a vertical standpoint so hopefully that makes sense to you there's a lot of places you can snap an object so I'm not going to go through all of that but what I will do is go ahead and go back to my toolbar and I will select a circle and draw a circle in my workspace just to show you that it doesn't matter what quick shape you choose any quick shape that you choose will have a potential snapping point point. and as you can see we get different snapping points as you move this object around also I wanted to show you that this circle can have snapping points that line up with the uh, rectangle so if we drag it towards the center point of the circle you'll see that the um, center point of this circle or its potential snapping point is perfectly aligned with the top edge of the rectangle that we drew in our workspace. So I would recommend that you experiment. I'm not going to go through every snapping point because it would make for a really long tutorial, but I'll show you just one last one. You'll see that the top edge of this rectangle is perfectly aligned with the bottom edge of the circle and also the right side edge of the circle. So hopefully you understand what the magnetic snapping tool does or also known as the snap to objects tool but you, you can use that to snap objects or align objects with respect to your web page or with other objects and sometimes that can be annoying especially if you have a lot of objects in your workspace so you can also disable that so that you don't have any point snapping so if you need precise alignment without those tools just disable that magnetic snapping tool or the snap to objects tool. So I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a message, subscribe, embed, comment, give us thumbs up if this tutorial was helpful. And I hope that you stay tuned for future tutorials. Have a great day.